Hi everyone, so today I just wanted to show you me playing about with some new watercolours to create this nebula inspired piece. So I found this picture from the Hubble telescope to inspire this piece, but my aim is just to use it as inspiration and to create something that, you know, just to explore the way the watercolours work and have a little bit of fun with it. I think something that I've been struggling with the past probably few years is just doing abstract art or art for art's sake, you know, just having a little bit of fun with it. Um, I feel like I've always taken things too seriously recently and I wanted to take back a little bit of the fun and explore new materials. So. I've, I've done um, a few courses by Anna Victoria Calderon and I have bought all of her books and I think she is absolutely amazing and she has inspired me with watercolours and even for my birthday last summer I got this set of watercolours so the watercolours that I am using are a mixture of the Windsor & Newton watercolours that I got given um, as an award when I was at A level um, about gosh at least 10 years ago um, and uh, you know they've lasted me the test of time and I've combined them with my new set of watercolours that I got for my birthday last year. They are Dr. PH Martins and they are so vibrant, really colourful. I believe you know uh, ar archival which is something that I always look for in my art materials now, something that's not going to fade too much or Know, something high quality art materials and I just really liked it so you can see I'm exploring all the different colors and I'm working up in layers which is something that I learned from uh, the, the courses that I did with Anna Victoria Calderon and you know I just I love I, I love painting like this I was out in the garden and I was in my element and I was just exploring the colors and I wasn't trying too hard to copy the image of the nebula. I was just seeing what the paint would do, so you'll see I'm exploring different blooms, different layers, do a bit of colour mixing. I was trying to play with the composition as well, so I have warped it a little bit and I've used a bit of maybe colour theory to make sure that I wasn't layering colours that were going to make each other look muddy. I wanted something that was going to look fresh. And so for that reason, I've worked really, really light from the start and then I start to get darker and darker as I go on. You know, one thing that you don't want to do with watercolours is work too heavy to start out with. So you'll notice I have mapped out all the little colours and all the different sections that I want to work in bit by bit. And I've moved around the paper several times. And because it was such a nice, beautiful day when I was painting outside, uh, the paints of dried really nice and quickly so I could just keep working around and around and around this painting. I absolutely loved doing this painting and I don't know, it's probably not the best technically, but in terms of creativity I feel like it's just like reignited my passion for art again. Not that I'd lost it entirely but I felt like a bit, I felt for quite a long time in a bit of a rut um, and I feel recently that Maybe I might be coming out of that rut a little bit and I'm, like I say, I'm doing art for art's sake, I'm enjoying it a bit more and I'm hoping that, you know, you might see a little bit more of this sort of thing from me. Um, you know, and I love doing my pet portrait commissions as well, so, you know, like doing those as well. Um, but I feel like in order to do the pet portraits and the, the commission work successfully, I, I need to be refining myself and, and training myself as an artist. I I don't want my art to become, you know, stale or, you know, I, you know, I feel like when people want a piece of artwork from me, they want something that's been produced from, you know, that my knowledge, you know, like my, you know, my training. I think anyone can copy a picture and learn the skills to copy a picture but you need to always be testing yourself and you need to be testing the materials and, and pushing yourself with those materials to try new things and to be successful with your commission work. Um, 
I see it as a, as a lifelong process so um, this is what I'm doing I'm just having fun with it and you know I hope you enjoy watching this video as I'm going through it so at the moment I'm starting to add the dark tones um, and you know I, I added black at the end I don't know it could maybe I could have left it here but then I was looking for a little bit more contrast and a little bit I wanted to make it look a little bit more more like the nebula that I saw deeper so I feel like by adding these darker tones and that I feel like I've achieved that and it, it does look deeper I don't know if anybody's ever watched Stranger Things <laughs> but I felt like as I was painting this I sort of felt like I was drawing the upside down in some way or maybe the the clash between the worlds of the upside down and the the, the real world but yeah I, I mean I guess I was just painting a nebula and this is how it turned out so yeah um, loved painting the abstract marks I felt very free with it so I'm gonna try and do some more stuff like this hope you liked it thank you if you enjoyed watching this then please like it and subscribe and let me know what you think uh, thank you very much